Hey guys, Ketan again. Today we are solving another problem from the beginner level of Code Chef and we are doing it in C. The problem is lapindromes and the problem code is LAPIN. I'll provide the question link and the solution link in the description, so be sure to check it out. Okay. Lapindrome is defined as a string which, when split in the middle, gives two halves having the same characters and same frequency of each character. If there are odd number of characters in the string, we ignore the middle character and check for lapindrome. For example, Gaga is a lapindrome since the two halves Ga and Ga have the same characters with same frequency. Also, A, B, C, C, A, B, R, O, T, O, R, and X, Y, Z, X, Y are a few examples of lapindromes. Note that A, B, B, A, A, B is not a lapindrome. The two halves contain the same characters but their frequency do, frequencies do not match. The task is simple. Given a string, you need to tell if it is a lapindrome. Alright guys, the problem is very simple. You just basically have to... Uh, separate the string into two halves and then you have to check what is the frequency of uh, each unique uh, character in the first half and if it is matching with the frequency in the frequency of all the characters in second half then we can just say that uh, it is a lap in row if it is an odd uh, odd length uh, string then we just ignore the middle one in this case t is ignored we have r and o right r is occurring once and o is occurring once we check in the second half o is occurring once and r is occurring once so the frequencies match and the letters match. So it is a lap in row. All right, it's very simple and very straightforward. Uh, we have test cases and in each test case, we get the string, right? So let's uh, code it up. I'll show you uh, how we can do it. And we'll be using kind of uh, a hashing method to solve this because we need to like store the frequency of each uh, character, right? So we'll just use hashing for this and it will be really simple and that is that is probably like the best solution you can do uh, Although it takes some space to create the hash uh, It's worth it Because if you don't use hash the time complexity just shoots up uh, like anything So yeah Right so we got the test cases and then we just take the string in right so let's Take a string called s, make a string called s, and then c in to s. Right. Now we basically have to split the string, and let's create an integer called n, which will be basically the size of uh, s, s dot size. Okay. Now if S, sorry, and percentile 2 equal to equal to 0, then mid equals to n divided by 2. Uh, let's create another integer called mid. And yeah, so mid is actually going to be n divided by 2 by default. And if it is not equal to zero, which means it's odd, then we do n by two. Then we do uh, mid minus equals to one. Sorry, plus equals to one because we want to move it a bit further. Okay, and we actually don't do this here itself. We process the first part here so that we get to the n by two, and then we increment the mid so that. Uh, no, we don't actually include it into the first part of the string. Okay, now we are able to get the first part of the string. Now all we need to do is store the character count into an hash. Now we could use STL uh, in C++, but I don't think many of you guys are familiar with STL. Uh, so if you are familiar with STL, you could just use unordered uh, map and then you, you can create the hash map. And otherwise, uh, I'll be I'll show you a simple trick for uh, handling character hashes, and that is using the ASCII value and creating an array of uh, size 26. So first of all, let's create an integer array of size 26. We don't need it there. We just need it. Uh, let's create it here. Integer or uh, let's call it hash of size 26. Okay. Now why 26? Because there are 26 characters in uh, 
well, there are 26 English alphabets, right? So we are creating the hash as 26. Now hash of 0 will represent A, letter A. And hash of 1 should represent B. Hash of 2 should represent C and so on till Z. Okay. Hash 25 will, hash of 25 will represent Z. Because it's 0 based indexing. Now, uh, now we create a loop for int i let's call it j because we already used i for uh, test cases int j equals to 0 j less than mid j plus plus okay now if now we just need to store now the hash uh, array will be initialized to 0 in every element right uh, because c++ does that automatically uh, so we don't have to assign zeros so we can just increment it if we see the character so now what we do is uh, s of j is the letter right so we do hash of s of j plus plus but if we do this s of j is actually a character right so we need to get the uh, uh, we need to get the integer value out of this let just to make it simpler to understand I am going to take it out and I'm going to call uh, and I'm going to create a new variable called x x is going to be the index which is going to go into the into the hash statement and x is going to be s of j minus the character a first of all let, let us make sure that all of them are small characters right so they said that composed of only small lowercase english alphabets right so what this basically does is it's gonna take the character uh, whatever the character it finds as s of j and then it is going to remove uh, the value of the ascii value of a so let's say the ascii uh, we can actually check what the ASCII, ascii value of a is ASCII value of A is 97 right in decimals so if it is B let's say S of J represents character B then th this value will actually be uh, well let, let me just write a comment this will actually be B minus A right but since we are initializing it to an integer X it uh, the C++ converts it ex in implicitly right so this will uh, this will be represented as 90 sorry what was A again so A was 97 right so B is 98 so this will be represented as 98 minus A which is 97 right so X is going to be 98 minus 97 which equals to 1 so now we are going to take this one and put it in the hash statement so hash of 1 is incremented which means uh, we saw 1b so we incremented uh, hash of 1 right if it was c we'll get 99 here and we'll get 2 here so hash of 2 which represents c uh, the character c will be incremented right so this is how you create a hash uh, using simple array and ask a value uh, conversions okay now this should work because we are uh, counting how many times each character is occurring and we are storing it in the hash okay now this is for the first half all of this is for the first half of s okay now let's copy this and paste it here remember we are do we are incrementing the mid if it is an odd uh, odd uh, numbered well odd character string so that uh, well the conversion well uh, splitting is done correctly and then this will be the second half of s second half of s now for in j equals to mid we start from mid and we go up to n okay yeah int x equal to s of j minus a this will still hold and hash of x is actually going to be minus minus 
so we are decrementing every time we see a number right so after this if if it is a lap in rom we should have uh, an integer of size 26 containing only values of zero there shouldn't be a positive number and there shouldn't be a negative number they should only be zeros because uh, both halves can cancelled each other out so we just check for that and if it is true then we just output lap in rom otherwise we output wait do we output lap in rom uh, so if it is a lap in rom we output yes otherwise we output no right so let's write a while for loop in j equal to 0 and j less than 26 because the size of the array is fixed to 26 right if uh, hash of j not equals to 0 right if hash of j is not equal to 0 it means that it is not a palindrome right then we just output c out no and then return we don't even need to break because we got our output so we can just return oh sorry uh, we have test cases right so we need to break hmm. we, we, we might have to use a flag here so let's create a flag let's create a bool called uh, lap equals to equals to true first which means we are considering that uh, the given string is a lap in rom uh, initially and if we find out that is not a lap in rom we change this to lap equal to false okay and then we break instead of returning we break because we have test cases otherwise we could just return it now after the loop if it is a lap then we see out yes and then we put an end line just to be just to format the output else we see out no again we put the end line and that's it so this should work guys uh, let me check it with the given input let's run it here alright we got Wait a second, we got all no's. I wonder why that is. Let's look at the code. Okay, guys, so I figured it out. Uh, I think we need to initialize the array to zeros. That's not do, that's not being initialized to zero right away. So I think we need to do that. I think that's the problem. So let's do that and see if it works. So we can do that by just saying zero here. Let's see if this works. Wow, there is a heavy load up uh, apparently. Maybe there's a contest going on on Core Chef. Maybe that's why we got we're getting heavy load. Okay, I tried a couple of times, but I'm still getting heavy load. Let's just submit this and see if it works directly. Oh, great! So we got the correct answer. So the problem was that we had to initialize specifically to zero and it worked so let's go through the code and let's see the time complexity and space complexity of the code well the space complexity is going to be basically n which uh, or uh, yeah n which is the size of the string how many letters are in the string that's it we, uh, uh, oh sorry n and uh, another n uh, is it n yeah it is n plus 26 which is basically n because we know the size of this and it is static so we can just consider order of n is the, uh, the space complexity and then and then coming to the time complexity we are running the loop order of n times this is order of n by 2 times and then this is order of n by 2 times approximately and this is order of uh, n times in the worst case right so overall uh, it could it, it can come out to uh, order of 2n which is basically order of n so the time complexity is order of n and the space complexity is also order of n for this solution and i don't think there's a better solution for this we need to use hash maps uh, and that's what this problem is trying to uh, point you po point to you all right 
thank you guys for watching you can find the uh, code and the problem link uh, in the description so check it out and comment if you have any doubts and uh, yeah hit the like button if you like the video and subscribe